Blessings guys and welcome back to Savvy's at Kitchen TV. Yeah man. We're around here. Yeah man, in my kitchen minute. So yeah guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make brown stew cow food. Yeah man, that is it. Brown stew cow food. So stick and stay with me on this one guys. So right about now guys, I don't measure out nothing, no seasoning on it or anything. So I'm just gonna use the exact exact amount that I need. Uh, that, yeah, because right now it's getting late. Time is against me, so I'm just gonna shake it all quick and fast. So let's watch the process. Yeah. So like this now, I'm just gonna. I don't need more than two teaspoons. Yeah, and that is it. Some all-purpose seasoning here. Just gonna get just the same. Two teaspoons, that is it. We have some jerk, I'm just gonna put like two teaspoons on. Yeah, like so, yeah man. And then we have garlic powder. I we'll put a little bit more than two teaspoons. Give it more three, yeah. So that is that. Now we're gonna add soya sauce. Mm, that's about two teaspoons, yeah. So now, we're gonna mix in everything, guys. I haven't put any black pepper in my meat, yeah. I hardly use black pepper, guys. I'd rather use this pepper, yeah. These are the peppers that I use. From for spice, yeah, man. For spice, everything, I don't I don't really put black pepper on it, so that is it. So now, I'm just going to give this a stir, guys. Quick and fast. In the meantime, the Dutch is already on, on the fire, yeah? I can smell the Dutch fat. That tells me it's getting hot. Yeah, man. So, I'm just going to do this quick and fast. And get it. In the here, want a little bit more, little bit more browning. Yeah, a little bit more soy sauce on it. See, so guys, right, let me get them up. Okay. All right, stay tuned, guys, until I'm getting it in the pot. Yeah, this is my thing. Season up. Yes, yeah, my comfort season. So what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fry my comfort first before I pressure it. Before I get it in the pressure cooker. Yeah, because I'm gonna pressure cook it. So stay tuned. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna start the frying process. I'm gonna get the cow food in the pot. Just gonna test the oil. See if it's, yeah, man. Oil is hot, so I'm gonna get the cow food in right about now. So I'm just gonna proceed like so with the cooking, with the frying process. So just stay tuned and watch, watch what's going on in your kitchen, yeah, man. That's it, man. Huh? Lovely, lovely pieces of culture. Oh yes guys, I didn't I forget to, to let you guys know that it's not just cow food I've got in here, I've got some some of the meaty part of the cow as well. Yeah man, they give me some of the fleshy 
Yeah, right, this you know, this isn't this is part of the coed. Yeah, cold fierce, yeah man. Cold fierce Yeah guys, that is it man. So I get so I, I buy a mixture, you know what I mean? It's not just cold food. So I'm just gonna get everything in the end. Keep going aside. One fry. So in the meantime, this cow foot is frying. This bad boy is frying. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get get my vegetable dice up and thing. You know, get prepared up some vegetables. You know, so stay tuned and watch the process. Soon come plus plus me have a one fish as well to steam. Yeah, I'm gonna steam this fish because it's not everybody eat cow foot. Yeah. Some people don't want cow food, some people want fish or chicken. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna prepare that. For those who don't wanna partake, you know what I mean? In the cow food consumption, you know what I mean? We're gonna consume some cow food. So stick and stay, soon come. Okay guys, I'm gonna transfer cow food into the pressure cooker. Is it? Yeah, it's fried to perfection. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, man. So yeah, so this is this is some of the cow food, guys. Have a look at it, yeah, man. Fried cow food. So yeah, I'm gonna trans transfer it into the pressure cooker. So, stick and stay, watch what's going on. All right, let me use this. I'll get it over there. Guys, if you don't want, you don't have to. You don't have to fry your cow foot because it is time consuming. You know what I mean, when you have to fry it first and then go ahead and cook it after or pressure it after. You know what I mean, it's consuming, time consuming. So if you don't want to do that, you can just season it up. Yeah, go ahead and just pressure it right, right away. Yeah, man. Get it in the pressure cooker right away and start the cooking process. But me, you just in the art kitchen, we do things a little bit different. Me, different. Yeah, we do things different from other people. You know what I mean, we like on when our thing have flavor because, as I said, we don't compromise with flavor and taste in the art kitchen. Now, nah, man, thing have to taste good. You yeah, understand? You understand? Yeah man, that is it man. When you're cooking, when you're cooking with food after taste, palatable. You know? That's when like somebody tried for the first time. You know, you have to leave an impression. You have to leave a mark. And say, so, Jano, I have to come back. I have to come back in the art kitchen and get some more food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah man, that's it. That is it man. That is it. So we deal with it, we deal with the thing proper, yeah man. We deal with the thing proper. It's no rather for lie. So yeah guys, I'm just getting it into the pressure cooker. I have to do this quick and fast. Because I wanna finish 
and then go relax because I've got some stuff stuff to do so yeah I've got something to start out for tomorrow for work tomorrow yeah man so all right that is it now so yeah guys I'm gonna add one tin chopped tomato yeah man like so eh? And in here guys, I've got one chopped onion and a few garlic cloves. We have some thyme and we have uh, bell pepper and we have one chopped hot pepper. Uh, if you want to see chili, but we have one hot scotch bonnet pepper in here. Yeah man, can't cook cow foot without some spice. Yeah. So we're going to add everything in here, get everything in there like so, yeah man. So, so stick and steer guys, stick and steer guys. Alright guys, I'm going to get some um, pimento, I need to get some pimento berries in there as well. Come on, pimento berries. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to... So I'm going to leave this. And let it go and cook. Okay. Leave this with the um, pressure. Let me get the cover on. So I'm gonna put it to the cover on like so. Is it man? That is it. So I'm gonna leave that guys. Let it cook. Yeah. After which after which I'm gonna I've got a fish here, yeah, I've got a fish to, so yeah I'm gonna sort out the fish. Plus I've got some vegetables, some steamed vegetable to sort out as well. So Stick and stay. I'm gonna clean up the fish and then get some onion chopped up and stuff like that. So stay tuned, soon come. Alright guys. Hey man, we are checking. Checking and checking and the cow for guys, see? Hey man. Coming on nicely. Yeah man, coming on nicely. I hope you guys can, can see what's going on in the pot. I don't know if this steam coming out of the pot preventing you from seeing the goodness in here. Look, look, have a look at this guys. Have a look at this. See? See? See what's going on? Yeah man. Cow food cooked to perfection. You know what I mean? You don't want to cook it out that you can't have anything to eat. It's just bare bone. And as, and as you can see, look, I'm going to show you what's going on. Look, still on the bone and it's soft and tender. Yeah. Uh, 
Look at this, guys. Look at this. You want to see meat when you cook cow food. You know what I mean? You don't want to see just bee bone in your pot. Bee bone knocking in your pot. You don't want that, man. When you cook cow food. Yeah? Look at this. That is it, man. That is it. So we, so I'm going to wash my give my spoon on your dough. I've been messing up. This thing been flashing all over the place. Yeah. <coughs> so, this is my spoon, guys. This is my spoon. As you, my spoon, as you can see, it's a clean spoon, yeah? So I'm just going to sample. Sample some of the gravy, some of the juice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Guys, you have the right taste. Yeah, man. The right flavor. Yeah. Not too spicy. You can taste a little spice in there. You know? Sting in the back of your throat. You don't want it too hot. You know what I mean? You have, we have to run up and down. So. This, this is it, guys. This is it. Two cow foot, yeah man. At its best in the at kitchen, yeah man. So, and I've done a little veg here as well, guys. A little steamed veg over here, and over here I've got I've got a steamed fish, you know, because it's not everybody, it's not everybody eat um, cow foot. So I say, so. I make sure provide something for everybody. Yeah man, in the art kitchen. That's how we do it. Everybody have to eat. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna give you a close-up shot, guys. And so stick and stay with me. Stick and stay with me on this one, guys. I'm gonna give you a close-up shot, show you what's going on in the pot. Still have the green pepper in here. That's it. So you can see, this is proper gravy, guys. This is not water. Okay? This is not water. You see, thick. Come on. Come on. All, the, all the goodness, all the seasoning, and everything. The tomato, everything just coming together nicely. The garlic, everything that I put in here, man. Pepper. Yeah, man. Taste amazing. So stick and stay guys. I'm gonna give you a close-up shot, show you what's going on. Alright guys. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check in on the cow foot, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, it's coming on nicely guys. Yeah. So at this point guys, yeah. See? It's, see, you see, so it's shaking in this spoon. Yeah, man, that tell you it's cooked, it's soft and tender. When you see it dancing like that, you see how, it, how it's bouncing about? Dancing, yeah, man, that means it's cooked, man. Soft, tender. Look at this. See? Yeah, see? Yeah, well cooked. So, alright, what I'm gonna do now, wow. At this point, I'm going to taste it, yeah? See if I need any salt or anything like that. Right. Can take a little more salt, yeah? But before I add any salt in there, I'm going to get this bad boy in there, this green pepper, along with some spring onion. We call it scallion. Yeah man, we're gonna get it in there, like so. And then we're gonna get this bad boy in there as well. Green pepper, yeah man, just for flavor guys. Just to enhance the flavor, you know what I mean? Already, it's already spicy, so I don't want any more spice, yeah? I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt to it. Put a little bit of salt in there. I 
and there's one thing I almost forget. Almost forget. And a little, just a little but what time they like. Yeah, you, know. you don't have to if you don't want to go Catch up in there, guys. Yeah, man. Home style cooking, guys. Yeah. So check out, check out the videos, guys. In the at kitchen, at kitchen service, at kitchen TV. Yeah, man. Make sure when you're watching the videos, watch your ads as well. Don't skip the ads, guys. Very important, you know, for you to watch the ads so we can get a little revenue. Yeah, man. That is it. All right. So now, I'm gonna give it another little, little taste. All right. Yeah, we still need a little. A little salt in there. Well, you don't have to be salt, but you know, I'm just gonna add a little seasoning, like all purpose, you know. Okay, hardly, hardly anything coming out, but I'm gonna stop at this. Right. Yeah. And then guys, I've got some baked bean. Yeah. Get them in there. Baked bean in there. Uh -oh. oh man, I'm messing up the place. Get the baked beans in. Stay tuned guys, when I come back, next time, you see this part, time to turn this stove off, so stay tuned, soon come. This is it guys, this is it, at the minute, still bubbling up, thing, you know, and the, still bubbling up guys, and juice jumping out of the pot and all them things, look, look, look guys, lovely piece of meat in here. So I'm saying, have a look at this. Yeah, so we have everything in here, guys. See, the beans. Yeah. So that is it, man. That is it. Yeah. Cook to perfection. That is it. I'm just giving you guys a close up. Yeah. yeah that is it. Brown stew. Cow food. And we have some cow head, that's cow face or, or whatever, cow head in there as well, guys. Yeah, fleshy, some fleshy, bit fleshy bits, it's not all bone, right? But that is it. That is it, man. See what's going on over there, over there, yeah. That is it. As I say, I've got one steam fish over here. Yeah. And steam fish there for those who don't heat cow food. Yeah, man. And we have some steam veg. Steam veg over here as well, guys. Yeah. Steam veg over here as well. So, that's about it for today, guys. That's about it for today. You know, I want to thank you guys for support you know for watching our videos yeah man watching us cook cooked you know watching us cooking in the art kitchen yeah and I want to thank you guys so much yeah man for liking our videos 
Okay, that is important as well. Very important. So you guys, keep watching. Yeah, man, and keep liking the videos and stuff. You know what I mean? And drop a comment in the comment section as well. So stay tuned until next time, guys, when we shall make another epic video. So until then, the at kitchen boss is out. Catch you in another one, guys. Yeah, everything is here. Everything is cooked, finished, finished cooking. So we are gonna eat now, cause I can see that my bowls are ready. They're just coming from football, so people are ready to heat. So stick and stay, stay tuned. We soon come. So until next week, guys. Stay